Hello, my name is Tim Roberts. I'm a certified SolidWorks application engineer here at GoEngineer. In this GoEngineer Quick Tips video, I'll be discussing the new design for manufacturing tools in SolidWorks 2011. This tool uh, is called Design for Manufacturing Express, or DMF, DFM Express for short. Uh, it can be found under the Tools menu here. It can also be found on the uh, side menu here under DFM Express. So when we go to DFM Express for the first time, um, we've got several options here. Uh, the new option is Injection Molding Analysis. So if we have a part in which we would like to analyze um, minimum and maximum wall thicknesses, we can use this tool to do so. Let me show you how it works. If we go to the minimum wall thickness setting, set that uh, 1.1 millimeter, and we'll set our maximum wall thickness to 2.5 millimeters. We can run uh, this tool, and it will go and look at the geometry and analyze the wall thicknesses of every solid face in the model. And when it's done with that, it will generate a report telling us which ones uh, meet our criteria uh, and which ones lie outside our, our minimum and maximum settings. This is very important for any type of a molded part analysis. Um, here is, we have our results and we can see that we have several faces here that don't meet our criteria for the minimum thickness. Um, this, uh, as you select it in the menu here, it highlights the model. Uh, this particular example tells us that it's uh, it's one millimeter, whereas it should be 1.1. So um, we did have some that passed the maximum wall thickness here, and essentially we would like to use this to avoid super thick walls uh, to prevent cooling problems in plastic parts. And um, hope you'll use this tool. It's a fantastic tool in SolidWorks 2011. The full version of uh, DFM Express, uh, of course, does have a lot more functionality than what you find in SolidWorks itself. This has been Tim Roberts with Go Engineer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos for more tips on using SolidWorks. Thank you.